today I'm here at Tibabara, New South Wales in Australia where I'm chasing volcanic rocks. Our campsite is just there. That's the road just here. There's a the track there. There's that white open field a bit on the left and there's a dark patch field on the right where that tree is. That is where I found a whole lot of corals, petrified corals. It's a windy day. The road is just only about probably 20 meters away. But this area millions of years ago used to be an inland sea. Uh, but in here I found this whole patch here, which is I say half a football field size. It's just mostly corals and shells. The next field over there, another half a K away, there's mostly volcanic bowls, different types of bowls. But I'm gonna be off uh, prospecting. So anyway, I'll show you guys what I find later on. Okay, because this is really interesting. So all this stuff here. There's that bits of coral. It's like a lot of tubey things. I got a few more interesting pieces here. Almost like a kettle. In. You got another one here. That one as well. I've only been here for about half an hour, but I've already gathered a lot of this weird looking stuff. And then those ones are double circle things and tubes and stuff like that. This one is like a hat of some sort. Well, that's what it looks like. Or a little, I don't know what you call them. But anyway, those ones are bubbly things and little boobies with nipple. And that one is just interesting. This one as well is like, I don't know, but it's interesting. And that one too. Just all this stuff and you get the plates like that too. A couple of them. Another chibi thing. Okay, literally I can spend a whole day here. So I don't know whether I should take that or not. So I'd leave that one because it's only one. Talking to you and yet I'm finding stuff again. I'll show you what I found on the other side of that. And more here. And more here. Look at that. Okay, and then this one's got all these holes in it. And oh, another one here. It's like a baby trunk of a tree. So I'm gonna go back to my pile here. Put them all there. Now for something different, same uh, double swirl things, but at least this one is black and on the opposite side of that. Once I clean up the dust and I'm getting sniffle because it's still freezing cold. The sun's out but still cold because the wind is coming from the south I think and it's from the snow. Anyway, another one here, another interesting piece. And that one is like a coral. Well, to me, it looks like coral stuff. And that one is, I don't know what to make of that, a little hammer thingy, with little chubby things. And that one is just a little ant bath or frog pond or something. And another one, that one is, looks like a shoe. And that one's got a little uh, it's a tube, but inside it there's another baby tube. I don't know whether they're from the volcano or the lava forming them, or they're actually from an ocean or something that got petrified, or I don't know. I don't know what they are, but uh, if anyone can tell me what they are, please tell me. A few more interesting bits and pieces. This one is like coral but it's got those tube on the ends so and the swirly little 
baby volcano thing and like a little crater there. So it's very interesting and this one's got like piled up on top of each other. And this one is like a little cup, a baby little cup. And that one is another interesting things. I don't know what to call them but they are interesting. And that one is almost like a starfish. It's not a starfish, but it's like, I don't know, coral stuff. And those ones as well. Cute little things. And that one is just little aero chocolate thing. And that one, baby volcano. And found a little bit of almost a citrine. So now my little tube things, as it turned out, actually could actually be corals. Because just now I found this, it looks like a piece of muscle to me. So the edge of the muscle, it goes around. And on the other side of that, the shape and everything, and then those bumps, the ridges on both sides of the muscles. that looks like a fossilized muscle that went covered by lava millions and millions of years ago and now they're exposed so now I have a piece of petrified muscle and this one is full of rocks as well I'm just opening this and so that's all full of stuff. This is the biggest piece I think, so it's got fossilized um, stuff in it. But anyway, I don't know what they are, but the patterns are interesting. So it's got some holes and things, and, and I just couldn't help myself. I found another piece of coral on the ground here. So I'll put that in my bag. So anyway, lots of interesting stuff here. See that one, that is quite cute. And on the opposite side, it's just a bulby round thing, but that is gorgeous. I got lots of this round, puffy, cauliflower looking things. So anyway, I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna start walking back and get ready for dinner.